Hello, um, I'm Pauline Tyrrell. I'm a councillor on Canada Bay Council for the Greens and I've been in Chiswick since 1989. Chiswick, I think, has changed over the years. I didn't grow up here. I, I moved quite later on. So um, I had to look around to see where the connections could be for the local area. Well, the uh, longer I stayed here, I started to get to know some of the people that lived in Chiswick longer than me. I met people at an exercise class and then we decided to carpool. And so it, I feel a lot more at home than what I did a few years ago. Um, people do come and go a bit, um, but we're also getting more people in, which uh, uh, makes the traffic worse, but it means that it's becoming more lively and viable for a cafe to keep going or an activity to keep going. Um, I don't like the fact that some of it was rezoned so that eventually it might just be residential because we need a mix of activities. Probably now I might know about 10 people that live in Jessica, so it's still, um, we're still feeling like a dormitory suburb. It doesn't feel like when you go into the inner city and there's lots of things happening all at once, but a little bit more is happening and it's very pleasant and uh, I did go, uh, the other thing I went to was Chiswick Bush Care that was set up by the council and we help clear the weeds from the reserve which is next to what used to be the BHP wire works and uh, now is the units and there's a little reserve beside it and had a whole lot of land tarner and we, walk, we used to walk there before and think oh look at all this here but then a bush care group was set up and uh, we've improved uh, that now we can walk down there and uh, you can walk right around the front so the industrial period had more people and it was more of a community but now that it's cleared it's also making it more pleasant to live without the big trucks coming around. It was very easy for them to dispose of their waste in, in the industry and they said, oh, well, this is very good. These are only mangroves and they attract um, mosquitoes. We'll fill them in and uh, we can dump all our rubbish there and there was even a tip there and it was just a foot uh, sort of a footbridge across apparently. And that, that was before I was there, but, but um, so we still have the legacy of an industrial waste. But uh, when they make a building site like the wire works, they, they had to clean it up to a certain extent, yeah, scrape, scrape back the rocks where. Uh, but they also left a couple of uh, remnants of the old um, machinery to show you what it used to be like.